as I continue to go from wireless to wired on my desktop set. Uh, next up, after I just recently did a keyboard from Logitech, and now we have a mouse. So this one ought to be pretty straightforward and simple. So it's the Logitech G Play Advanced. This is the G240. Uh, cloth gaming house mouse pad is also included. Uh, anyway, uh, what I what I want to do here is I want to have something simple, uh, again yet wired. Uh, and so in my research, it looked like this was the right thing, the right product. So uh, this will be again uh, very straightforward, very simple. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it. It's kind of a strange box, I know, uh, but the reason is that there is a mouse pad inside of this. So let me try to open it. Opening is rather simple. There it is. We've opened it. And here's another box, some more information about it. Um, so let's see here. I, I need to uh, uh, mention to you, I am not interested in gaming with either the keyboard or the mouse. Uh, so even though this in a couple places says uh, gaming, that is not the uh, reason for this particular mouse. So the first thing we're going to do is let's take out the mouse pad and the mouse. So that's it. There's nothing left inside of this box. Again, it's an interesting box, <laughs> interesting packaging for a mouse. Here is a huge mouse pad. I think you could see there. And uh, trying to see if there's something I could show you to, uh, to compare it. But anyway, I guess the mouse itself. Here's the mouse. It's rugged. I mean, I could feel it. Seems to be pretty well built. We'll take a look at it and we'll uh, uh, use it a bit. And uh, there's the wheel. You have uh, your left and right clicks here. And there's some other buttons on the side, which I'm assuming uh, we'll be able to do a little bit of personalizing on. Nice and easy, moves well. Again, we have our buttons here. I'm going to put the microphone there, there so you can hear the click. So there are buttons galore on this. There's uh, one here, one here, one here, one here, oh, and one here. So we have a series of buttons. We're going to go ahead and set it up and let you take a look at it and see what you think of our new mouse. Before I go ahead and customize uh, the mouse, here, here it is. It's set up and it's, uh, it's working. You can see there's uh, RGB here. Uh, the light uh, continues to flash. I haven't set up any of the buttons yet. Uh, it's very, very fast, so I'll probably slow it down just a bit. And uh, I have a whole lot of buttons to, uh, to update, uh, as I don't know exactly what they are. I'm looking here at the Logitech page, and uh, you can maybe hear it, but uh, it goes up and down pretty quickly, moving very, very fast on the screen. So we'll go ahead. That'll be the next step, is to let you take a look at... Uh, uh, customizing our mouse. What we're going to do is we're going to personalize the settings for our G502 mouse. Here we go. So the first thing is you need to make sure that you uh, download a program uh, from Logitech called uh, uh, G-Hub. And let me do that and we'll open it here and here it is. So. Uh, G-Hub is on my computer and you can see what it looks like here. 
uh, you just have a G502 hero showing what uh, my mouse is. Now I have not done any work, I have not read any material, so I'm uh, setting this up cold and it might come across that way. Uh, so uh, let me go ahead and look at the settings. I'm not sure there, let me click there. Ah, okay. So. I've clicked here and uh, DPI is the speed of your mouse on the screen. Uh, I could tell you right now it's uh, pretty fast, the mouse, and wow, <laughs> I just have to touch it slightly there. Uh, that's much better. And 1200 is pretty good. I'm going to put it on 2400, it's a little bit faster. So we have that. Uh, your current DPI speed is underlined. There it is. Assign this to your mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it. I like that speed. And uh, we're back over here again. Uh, so we have our commands. And let's go to our key. Uh, we'll look at our keys now. And let's see our primary click. There's our left and our right, so it's primary and secondary in the case of this mouse. Looks, uh, I'm right-handed, so I don't uh, didn't think it through, but uh, this mouse uh, does not appear to be able to be used by left hand. Uh, so DPI up is here, so there's a button here for DPI, and let me touch it and see what I find here. And we'll test that in a second. Actually, let me go to here. I'm going to press that button. It hasn't done anything yet, so uh, let's just go back. Okay, so DPI up and DPI down is uh, the second button. And I pressed that and it came to here. So, so commands. Okay. So here I have commands, uh, assignments, commands, and what I can do is I can drag a command over to here and uh, make that uh, exactly what I want it to be. Okay, here's what I'm gonna, going to do. As you see here I'm uh, on system, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do put the volume buttons here on the left side, so where it says open start, I'm going to change that to volume up. So I have dragged volume up and there it is and it now says volume up and I'm going to do the same thing here with of course uh, I'll do volume down. So here it is. I'm going to put it uh, right here. I'm going to do volume down now. So let's take volume down going to come over here we're going to put it on right there so now we have volume up and volume down with these two buttons here and of course we have a middle click a secondary click so the left and right uh, are there on so you can have multiple people uh, on it and they can each have their own profile you can have two different views you have a side view and uh, for instance, this is to go forward, and, and that is back. And uh, the DPI shift is over here. So uh, I'm going to leave those buttons alone. We'll go back to view one. And so I have the volumes up and down. Uh, scroll left and scroll light, right by just pushing this wheel left or right. Um, onboard profile cycle we'll leave alone. So there's not really uh, much else here, but. Uh, if you want, you can come here and you could certainly uh, do a lot of changes if you want with uh, the different buttons. So again, commands, keys, and here you would search for a command and then you would find it. You, you could uh, uh, drag a command onto a target. Actions, and you can see what the different actions are.
So take screenshot, capture. So there's numerous uh, items you could do here. Of course, there's macros that you can create yourself if you want. And then there's the system commands. And that's kind of what I'm focused on is actually the, uh, the system commands. And you can add an application if you want from the system. You can kind of go find something and add it uh, if you would like. So there you go. So uh, it feels good. Uh, in my hand. It feels comfortable. It slides along nice on the, uh, uh, the cloth uh, mouse pad that comes with it, so that's, that's a nice little extra I didn't uh, really know about. Uh, I can make it lightning fast or just uh, what this is. So uh, there we go. It's everything you always wanted to know about a mouse.